Hi folks, it's Brendan here from eSkirt Now, presenting the G15 Commander electric scooter. The G15 Commander, designed by G-Space, is a petite sub 25 kilogram scooter with an impressively long deck and swing arm suspension for stability, making it a modest choice for safe handling and ride comfort that's typically only available in heavier scooters. Commander is great for commuting, packs a lot of features that are typically not included in scooters of this weight class. Commander uses precipitation hardened space alloy aluminium containing a lot of magnesium and silicon, which is its major alloy elements, results in an impressive lightweight build. Structural components using 45 steel, which is amongst the most highly sought and popular types of structural carbon steel available. On paths and terrain, the swing arm suspension offers excellent travel for a scooter of this size. It has natural rubber cartridge suspension that offers long service life with excellent dampening to minimise rebound. You can see on these paths here, roots, stones, quite well managed. The suspension does an excellent job of suppressing vibrations on this rough terrain and on the timber boardwalks provides excellent dampening. Genetic tyres which are air filled provide additional ride comfort and the split rims allow for relatively easy do-it-yourself puncture repairs. You've got an excellent 59 centimetre generous deck length which is about 40% longer than a 9 bot max. The overall length of the scooter of 1.18 metres makes it an excellent to pass the car boot test to fit in the back of the vehicle. Overall, it's about 4 centimetres longer than a 9 bot max. The handlebar width is a generous 59 centimetres which offers excellent stability and balance. The combination of the long deck with the wide handlebars offers excellent stability. The stability is well suited for urban environments to navigate paths and path walkers and other obstacles. It's very easy to shift your weight across the deck to maintain balance. You can lift the weight of the scooter up quite easily because of its light weight. Most popular G15 badge runs a 52 volt system. It's powered by a 20 amp per hour battery. These are using the 21700 South Korean LG lithium ion cells. They provide higher energy density for the weight than traditional 18650 cells. So this means it's more energy, less size and weight, and the range from 37 to 50 kilometres in the Dual Pro. The South Korean battery chemical has a reputation for less battery degradation over the years of service life compared to significantly cheaper Chinese chemical. All badges use a silky smooth sine wave controllers. The punchy torque in the Dual Pro with the dual 800 watt motors offers impressive climbing velocity for such a petite scooter with 2,600 watts of peak power delivered from dual 25 amp controllers on the 52 volt system. The power will allow an 85 kilogram rider to maintain the 25 km per hour speed on a steep hill and as you typically encounter on a journey through many of the Brisbane hills and suburbs that we have. So this reduces a lot of interactions that you have with vehicles because you can get out of the way quite easily on a hill. On a recent short grip ride, you can see that the Dual Pro keeps up very well with scooters which are a lot larger and much more capable. The combination of the 52 volt system with the relatively heavy 800 watt motors results in less energy being lost through heat and it keeps the wheels cooler to reduce premature failure of tubes. The scooter uses a very modern hinge design which is becoming quite common now on newer generation scooters. It has minimal backlash and wobble in the stem. It's quite a solid design and it locks quite easily. Simply lift the securing lock, pull forward, and then the hinge will simply slide down. There is a hook up here which allows you to hook it back in to the rear tail light stem, and then it simply locks into place. Once you've pushed it in and release that, you can simply pick it up. So, lightweight 25, easy to navigate upstairs and elevators, taken into the office, etc. The lighting system on the Commander is very impressive. It's got LED strip lighting along the deck and along the stem, and they can be programmed to your liking. There's over 300 different combinations of lights and sequences available, which you activate through the remote control. So the headlight is a very well focused beam. Keeps the light out of the eyes of path walkers on coming, keeps it focused down on the ground. You've also got excellent indicators as well. Left and right hazard lights if you wish. The front one's incredibly bright, shine actually on the ground in front. Braking is excellent as you'd expect of a scooter of this class. Front and rear disc brakes offering excellent performance. The standard cable mechanical brake or optional hydraulic brake is available. Commander has been waterproof rated to IPX6 waterproofing, although we do recommend you don't keep it involved too much with the water. 
There is an optional GPS tracker available as well, which will show the location of the scooter. It'll send vibration alerts to your mobile phone if someone tampers it or moves it. And it also has an immobiliser built in as well. So the harness is exactly the same as the Carbo series scooters. That interconnects here with the relay to immobilise it and that fits inside the scooter discreetly. Yeah, so to immobilise the scooter with the GPS tracker, I'm just going to send an SMS command to it. The lights will go off and then error will be thrown on the screen. Error 10, so it's immobilised. So there's no way that scooter will, will operate at all. Totally immobilised. And to restore operation, just send a command back through to it again. Error is cleared, the lights are back on and you can drive away. We took it out on some trails, going quite well through the bridges, up the hills, quite comfortable to ride and plenty of power and performance for those hills. So there we go, that's the e-scoot now G15 Commander. Thanks for watching.